the weather team you can trust. Here's Chief Meteorologist Eric Snyder. All right, I like it. I obviously wish there was a little more active weather here. I love the snow, especially this time of year, but not this week. This week we can keep it quiet. We're doing that now. We're going to keep doing that around here for the foreseeable future, at least until, let's say, Friday morning. And even there, I don't expect big deals until we go into the weekend. Skycast for the rest of your evening. We're going to lose the 40s pretty quickly here. We're at 41 right now in town. Down to about the freezing mark, 10 o'clock. By 11, we've got our final newscast of the night. And then it is Thanksgiving. We'll start off our Thanksgiving morning on either side of 30 degrees. We've been kind of in that ballpark these last few days. Not much changing around here. Kind of a stagnant weather pattern, which is okay when things are quiet relatively quiet again across western New York. So off to our west as we back this up. This has been a frame here that I've shown for the last few days that has been really quiet. And I think to a large extent you would still have that feeling. But peeling back here the layers behind the scenes, we've got one area of rain now starting to pop here right along and west of the Mississippi. And then we've got some flakes flying with the upper level energy near the Rockies. These two pieces here both in motion. It's going to be the Rockies chunk of energy that's going to be the biggest player for us. That's going to be our cutoff low that's going to sit and spin around the state of Texas for a few days, keep our weather quiet, and then finally head east toward us by the weekend, especially on Sunday. Now, up until that point, it really is amazing how quiet this forecast is around here. We'll start tomorrow morning off chilly but seasonably cold highs into the afternoon should net at least 50 degrees and i do think if we can keep that sky mostly sunny not filtering the sun so much but mostly sunny getting into the 50s is a very realistic possibility here which for thanksgiving in rochester kind of hard to come by now going through the numbers here thanksgiving all the way back to 1980 almost 80 percent of our thanksgivings in town have featured a trace of something whether that was rain or snow something in between. Out of that, almost a perfect 50-50 of those have featured at least a trace of snowfall. Now, we're not going to satisfy either of these. The one that we will do is the 24%. Roughly one in four Thanksgivings get to at least 50 degrees. This is going to be one of those one in fours. Scattered showers come by early Friday morning. That's wave number one. Now, that upper level energy that we showed you in the Rockies, eventually it's going to slide our way. Watch the low start to work its way into the Great Lakes. I still think this low is likely to track west of western New York. That is important. This time of year especially, when you are on the right side of these areas of low pressure, that is generally speaking the warm side. So you're going to get rain out of this versus anything wintry. And I don't see a whole lot of cold air on the back side of that low either. So this will also not be a case where it rains all day Sunday and then you turn to lake effect snow as the cold air pours in by Monday. There is no cold air to be found. That means that eight day forecast, a lot of 40s in there. And I count one, two, three 50 degree readings. One one of which is Thanksgiving. There could be more going into next week. And a lot of people love to get outside in Thanksgiving, toss they the do. football around. Yeah, or it's so. more fun in snow. <laughs> Carl's over there too. He'd agree with that. Right, Carl? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> silence over there. I don't know. Still ahead.